Hi, welcome to this latest episode of Lightboard Lessons, and today we're going to talk about OneConnect. And so if we, if we look at HTTP, and I'll start over here, um, if you look at HTTP 1.0, you would have a client and a server, and if you wanted to grab a web page, say with the HTML um, and uh, an image, so client would make a request for, say, index.html, and let's say image one dot jpeg and so those are independent requests to the server and then with http 1.1 you could multiplex requests from client to server so you can make on one connection you could actually send the requests for index.html and image.1 jpeg um, multiplex that way and so when you throw proxy in here uh, for things like uh, big IP you can pass on with both of these uh, you can pass on the um, say this is client side uh, instead so we take server out and we just have client-side connections come in here and then to server, say I have server 1 and server 2 on the back side here, then you can have this connection come in here and without one connect we're going to send uh, this connection comes through to big IP and comes to server 1 and and say this this initial one so index Dot .html goes this way, and then the second connection for um, the uh, HTTP 1.1 uh, gets load bounced over here, and so image 1.jpg. And then both of these come in for HTTP 1.1 over to big IP, and so uh, if this is a, a round robin scenario, then this single TCP connection is going to then come over to server one with both of those in, in tow. And so, you know, Big IP handles the HTTP 1.0 and 1.1, uh, depending on how you have your HTTP profile set up uh, independently like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So what OneConnect allows you to do is you can set up a connection pooling. So if I have a a pool of servers, then I can actually have a pool of connections here. Uh, and let's just say a connection pool. And so one connect will use this connection pool of idle connections so that when a request comes in, then it can take an idle connection. So the server here, this this connection, say that connection's been handled, and so when another connect, uh, connection comes in, say, I'm going to pull down uh, main.html, then when that one comes through, then it can reuse this, this connection from index.html, uh, and it'll just reuse this to send main.html. And, and so, also, what you can do is all of these requests can go on a single connection on the backside. So whereas you're keeping connections between clients independent on the backside, now you can combine connections from all clients onto single connections back to the server. So um, the the way that this works, uh, uh, as far as the options are concerned, for um, uh, one more thing I wanted to mention on uh, HTTP 1.0. So uh, normal one connect with HTTP 1.1 uses uh, the multiplexing built in that it can reuse connections and, and bind all those together. With uh, 1.0, you can't do that. So um, 
you have what's called a one connect transformation. And it basically allows or you know, the, the big IP will convert requests from 1.0 clients uh, to 1.1 on the backside and uh, pool those on the backside and then convert back to um, a response in order to, to meet that uh, protocol request. And so some of the uh, options for one connect uh, the source, and I'll just do those uh, source mask in some versions, and it's a source prefix length in, in more recent versions. But it's, uh, it's the mask leak that allows for a connection to be reused uh, for, for one connect. The default's zero, so that means most efficient. It, it will reuse any open connection for, for any client. But if you uh, have like a slash 32, which would be an IPv4 host mask, then only uh, connections that match that will, will be reused. Uh, one point of order on that is if you use SNAT, the SNAT is applied first and then the mask is evaluated. So if you're using a single SNAT, you're um, effectively uh, using a host mask. And so that, that setting is uh, sort of irrelevant, but uh, it's something to keep in mind. And then uh, max size, and this is the size of the pool uh, for connection reuse. And so the default here is 10K, and, and so that's the max number of server-side idle connections that Big IP will hold in this reuse pool. Um, that number is divided by the number of TMMs, so if we have the default of 10K and you have four TMMs, then uh, your uh, 2.5K per TMM as far as the number of connections, and uh, that will sit in the idle state. And uh, so max age, that's the, uh, the max number of seconds a connection can remain in the re reuse pool before it's marked ineligible. Two points on being marked ineligible. It's triggered after the first use um, or first reuse of the connection. So in this case, on indexed HTML, that max age doesn't start, uh, that timer doesn't start. But once it's been reused with this main.html, now that max age uh, timer is, is in there. And so, uh, you know, that's triggered after the first reuse, not the initial use. And then also, uh, max size, it's, um, I'm sorry, max age, it is uh, marked ineligible. It is not uh, closed. When the next request comes in, it will close that and open a new one. Or uh, if the server side um, HTTP uh, timer expires, then the server will close that connection. So that's, that's max age. Uh, max reuse is uh, the default here for max reuse is, uh, is a thousand times. And that's just how often or how many times that particular connection will be reused before it's closed. And when that is uh, reached, then it closes it immediately. And so there are a couple other options, uh, idle timeout. Uh, override and then limit, but uh, you know I'll, I'll point you to an article um, as well. Uh, I have a lot of uh, Wireshark captures that, that go over some of these settings and, and how to set them artificially low just to understand the behaviors, and I'll, I'll link that as well. So a couple things I wanted to mention on OneConnect behaviors is OneConnect does not override the load balancing behavior. So if you have if you have two servers in round robin uh, load balancing method, so I have server one and server two. When I have a uh, first request comes into server one, second request, this is first, second, okay? Those are uh, normal and they uh, initialize a connection. The third request will go back to server one, uh, but this one is a reuse, okay? And then the fourth request goes to server two and then that one is reused, okay? So it's, it's not, um, overriding load balancing behavior. That still works as intended. Um, another point of order is HTTP is not really, I mean, OneConnect is not really meant to be used uh, without uh, a layer seven transactional protocol. It's generally considered a, a misconfiguration to do that. And, and what I mean by uh, transactional protocol for layer seven is a request, a clear request response in the traffic. And so that's, that's OneConnect's normal 
operating mode. Uh, so if you do not have that with the protocol that you're using, One Connect is, is recommended to not use that unless you have a very specific purpose for why you would do that. And then uh, finally, uh, if you've tried to load balance HTTP traffic and you find your uh, persistence to be not very persistent, um, you probably don't have One Connect enabled. And, and that's because by default, Big IP is load balancing connections, not requests. So when you load balance a request to server one, I'm sorry, a connection to server one, then the rest of the requests within that will, will follow, uh, with, within that initial connection, will, will follow to the server. By enabling one connect, you're effectively detaching the server side connection. So if you have client and big IP, um, you're effectively detaching this connection uh, so that every time a new client request comes in, it forces a new load balancing decision and uses the persistence data in, in, uh, in, that, in that connection so that it can uh, force a load balancing decision and go back. So uh, hopefully this has been helpful. I will link to the article that covers all of that information in print with Wireshark captures. Um, thank you for joining us and we'll see you out there in the community and make sure if you enjoyed this video that you subscribe.